Good morning. Welcome to a week in my life. It's Monday. Let's go make some coffee. go up yesterday but it didn't because i had a tumultuous weekend including back-to-back -back instances of a roach one night which i lost under the bed after looking for it for like two hours and then the next night i had a mouse so then the next day after the mouse i spent so much time going to the hardware store getting steel wool, patching as many holes as I could find that were big enough for a mouse to go through. I got caulk and I was like caulking around. So anyway, I didn't have time to finish the video this weekend. So I'm gonna do it now and then I'm gonna post it. Oh, well, I'm gonna finish the edit. God, what? I'm going to finish the edit and then I'm gonna make the thumbnail then upload it. Then while it's uploading, I'll probably find the links to everything and put them all in the description and then we can go live but that's probably gonna take me a good chunk of time to just finish the edit. Also, this coffee is fire and it's gonna take everything in me to not just sprint the whole thing right now, like in the next 10 seconds. Also, I got new glasses, not these glasses, these glasses. These are so popular. I feel like everybody has these, like the beer can shaped ones. I just got this from Amazon. So I'll link them down below. Oh, and they came with these straws too. I'll link them down below. I'm really excited. I got a pack of four and I think they're so cute for my little coffee. It's really the little things. I think I want to edit this on my iMac. I always edit on my laptop and I used to always edit on my iMac, but for some reason I just like don't anymore, but I'm going to. Oh, by the way, if you follow me on Instagram and you were following the mouse chronicles, I do want to confirm that I did catch the mouse. I caught it that night after like three hours of searching. Well, I knew where it was at first, then we lost it. I called my friend to come over and thank God because I actually was having a panic attack. This was my first time having a mouse, A, and B, having to deal with it by myself. So I literally was sobbing on the phone with my other friend <laughs> and like shaking. So thank the literal Lord that my friend so graciously came over at like 11.30 at night and was here till like 1.30. We took catch this mouse, but we caught it. I'm scared, I don't wanna talk about it anymore. I'm gonna talk about it. Instead of taking off the sweatshirt, I just turned my fan up. Okay, let's edit. Hey pals, it's me again. It's now noon. I'm still editing, but I'm gonna take my lunch break. Take my lunch break. I'm gonna go make lunch. And I wanted to make it together because I've been making this oatmeal for the past like week two weeks and it's like my new favorite thing is giving apple crisp vibes i'm a big apple bitch i love apple desserts so i decided to try and make like an oatmeal version of that and it slays i think i'm gonna listen to i think chicks in the office comes out at 12 it's 12 16 so i'm really hoping yes i'm gonna listen to that while i make it because if you know me you know that i simply don't enjoy silence i must have something going on in my ears at all times. I just realized I'm literally out of milk.
and I accidentally slept for three hours. <laughs> I have no idea how. It's like nighttime now. What the fuck? Okay. I'm uploading my video right now. I just finished making the thumbnail. I got all the links and did the description and everything and it's uploaded but the f***ing checks have been running for like an hour. And if you didn't know, checks are basically like they're checking to see if there's any copyrighted content in your video. So it makes sense for me to wait until those are done to post it because if there is something that could be copyrighted then there goes all of my revenue from that entire video. But it's literally 7.20 p.m. Like, how long does it take? I don't understand why it takes so long. Anyway, whenever those are done, I'm gonna post it. Bachelorette is on at 8, so I'm gonna call my mom. We FaceTime and watch it together. And I need to eat something for dinner. I really need to clean the kitchen too, but that's a problem for after the Bachelorette. <laughs> God, I have no idea how I slept for three hours. I'm so mad. Like, so mad at myself. Because now it's literally nighttime. But anyway, that's a sitch. Okay. Hi. I just posted my video and then I heated up some of the pasta that I had left from some that I made a few days ago and it literally was like five bites total. So I am now heating up some chicken nuggets to complement my meal as I should. It's 7.50 so the bachelorette comes on in 10 minutes. My chicken nuggets won't even be done. I'm gonna FaceTime my mom soon. And I'm gonna FaceTime her on my iPad because I want to be able to read tweets from Bachelor Nation during the show. Duh. It's gonna be a great night. It feels kind of unnatural to be drinking wine when I literally just woke up, but. Bachelor Monday, cheers. Hello. How are you today? I slept for three hours. Wow. I'm not sure how though, like, I'm back. Okay. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday. I just self tanned, hence the towel. I'm hungry. I need to make some breakfast and coffee and sit down and do some shit before I go do my little activity tonight. God, I suck at self tanning. I wish I was naturally tan. It's some bullshit. And if I do lay out in the sun, which I don't really ever, I just f***ing burn. Anyway, I need to wash this off in like five hours-ish. You're supposed to wait six, but I don't have six hours to wait at this point until I need to leave. I should probably put some clothes on too, shouldn't I? Kind of in the mood for an omelet. Maybe I'll fuck around and make an omelet this morning. Pretty, but it smells good as shit, so I'm excited. Ew, I really look like this. Cool. Also, brought out the hot sauce just in case. You never know. Hot sauce is always an asset. <laughs> that was fire. Just saying. Hello, I'm running extremely late and I'm pretty sure my camera is out of memory and I need to switch the memory card, but I don't have time to do that right now. I'm getting ready to go over to Anna's house because we are gonna get Ubers and we're going over to Jersey where we're gonna get in a boat that has a hot tub on it and we're gonna sail around the river tonight. That's what we're doing. It's like six o'clock, 6.13, I need to leave right now. Here's my fit, I'm wearing a bathing suit under this obviously, but I wanted to update you guys. I will vlog some phone clips on the boat I'm excited, bye.
It's 11.30 p.m. I'm eating a quarter pounder and I got fries, of course. And I also got an apple pie just for the shits and gigs. I'm holding my best one. It's a Tuesday, by the way, because you forgot. Don't know, they're Actually, really best friends. They play all day. Bye. spoken to you guys today yet i'm so sorry that is so rude of me hi it's wednesday i was gonna say good morning but it is like the afternoon now i've just been sitting on my computer i uploaded the footage that i have so far for this vlog because i want to start editing that now so i can like get ahead i was answering comments from my last video i'm about to order a salad for lunch because i'm so hungry actually oh did i miss a whole patch of shaving my legs and i'm just realizing it Dude, I'm about to order a salad. I'm so excited. This specific salad has been what I've been obsessing over for the last month or so. It's from Chopped. I get the spicy cinnamon. I get the spicy Sonoma Caesar salad and it is so good. I literally cannot stop eating it. I can't stop. So it's 25 to 35 minutes. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I also haven't even told you about last night. Oh my god, I had the greatest time. I'm so happy we did that. It was so freaking cool. We saw the Statue of Liberty so up close. I literally felt like I could smell her. If she had a smell, I would have been able to smell it. We went because Anna got to like work with them. So we got a free like boat ride. And she was able to bring nine friends, I think. Eight, eight or nine. So I think there was nine of us total. It was just so much fun. That's my update. I'll talk to y'all when I get my salad. Just thinking about it is making me want to cry like it's making my mouth water. Bye. <laughs> this is just like so sexual for me. <laughs> Bitch, yes. besties i'm cooking dinner right now and by that i mean i put a marie calendar's chicken pot pie in my oven but i want a snack because i'm hungry so i'm gonna have some chips and salsa or not chips and salsa chips and queso before it takes like an hour for these johns to cook sorry this lighting is so not good i wanted to make dinner tonight but then i realized i didn't have the ingredients that i needed and i didn't feel like going to get them so i'm gonna cook 
tomorrow night. But for right now, I'm just gonna sit here, eat my appetizer while I wait for my main course, and watch Gilmore Girls. I started watching Gilmore Girls. Finally, I feel like I'm the only person in the world who has not seen this show. I mean, it came out like 20 years ago, so. I've been really enjoying it. I'm living my best life, I'm not gonna lie. Like, this is me living my best life. Dinner is served, bitches. I realize there's been like no Charlie content in this vlog so far. I'm really sorry about that, but she literally lays on my bed all day. So here she is. Hi, it is 10 45 p.m. I am forcing myself to go to bed. This is actually early for me. I am sitting in bed and it's not even 11 p.m. yet. Whenever Charlie starts to look at something for too long, I get really nervous <laughs> because that's what she does when she sees like. A critter. <laughs> but I've also decided that what Charlie does in the hours that I'm not awake is none of my business. That is between her and God. Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go to bed. Bye. Good night. Regrettably, I am about to leave the house. I look absolutely, I, I look like Adam Sandler. Waiting for them to play Gangnam Style. And that's like disrespectful to Adam Sandler. The reason I'm dressed like this is because, well, first of all, this t-shirt slays. I got it at the Harry Styles one night only concert, but it's also the biggest t-shirt that I own. And I love to wear it when it is as hot as it is today because I'm wearing my biker shorts underneath and I feel like comfortable. It is 95 degrees outside today, which is God awful. And it's also literally noon. So we're entering the hottest part of the day. So why I decided to leave the house now is a mystery to us all. I just kind of got the motivation and I felt like I would just go with it because I'm gonna lose the motivation really fast. I need to go to Trader Joe's and pick up some groceries for tonight's dinner. I decided I'm gonna make a new recipe tonight. It is a pasta, of course. Like, what do I eat anything else? No. And I'm really excited to bring you another installment of Home Cooking with Hannah with a brand new recipe that's gonna be new for both of us, unless you've made this exact thing before. The other night I had like a hankering for Olive Garden. <laughs> I haven't had Olive Garden in a hot minute. I was craving Olive Garden fettuccine alfredo, specifically fettuccine alfredo with shrimp. And I'm gonna make it tonight. I made a little list of the ingredients that I need. Thankfully, it's really not that many ingredients and I have a bunch of them already. Today's hot girl walk is the definition of a hot girl walk because it's hot as fuck. I'm so sick of summer, like respectfully, it has to stop. There has to be a line drawn and I'm prepared to draw the line right here right now. I can't take another heat wave. This is the second actual official heat wave in New York City. I can't take another, I can't have a third. I'm not doing well. I walk outside and I start sweating immediately. That's another reason I'm wearing this outfit because it's all black. So you can't see my sweat. Oh, burnt through another candle. Great, let's go to Trader Joe's.
I made it. Barely. Wow. It was the water. Sorry. All right, I wanted to do a very quick grocery haul. It was very much a roller coaster of emotions with this trip, but I ended up getting everything I needed for dinner tonight with an asterisk next to it because the original thing that I needed, they literally didn't have, and not even that they were out of stock. You know how there's a little labels, obviously, on every product? There wasn't even a label for this thing. I was like, this is the most basic pasta and they don't have it i just was like what's going on the thing that they didn't have that's quite literally in the name of the dish that i'm making is fettuccine don't know why don't know why they didn't have it but i instead got linguine i got heavy whipping cream i got two types of cheeses the recipe said that i should get blocks of cheeses and grate them myself so that's what i'm doing so i got a block of parmesan cheese and i got a block of Romano cheese. Oh, the last thing that I got for dinner is a package of frozen raw shrimp. And then I got some other things that I just kind of realized that I'm out of. First of all, this is probably the most important thing. I got my favorite bread of all time. I have tried so many different sourdoughs, but the Trader Joe's San Francisco style is the best sourdough. I don't even have a use for it right now, but I know that someday I'll be like, I really could use that for a sandwich or something and I won't have it. So I decided to get it and I'm gonna freeze it. Also, I'm out of these. I love Trader Joe's raw pecan halves. I got some eggs, just got some ham. I know these are like probably not good for you at all, but I get the American cheese singles because again, I don't go through cheese fast enough. You gotta do what you gotta do. That's it for my haul. I also got a workout for free. I'm gonna go put all these things away now. All right, bitches, it's that time. I've had the same hairstyle the entire video. I'm just realizing that and it's literally Thursday. Anyway, it's time to make dinner. I have a feeling this might take a little bit. It's not supposed to take long. Like the directions say that it's supposed to take like 20 minutes, but with this being a new recipe for me, I feel like it's gonna take me forever. I like to prep everything before I start putting it together because it just feels like less stress for me. I don't know. I'm still just a beginner. So welcome to another segment of Home Cooking with Hannah. Wait, I can't say that and I'm not in the kitchen. I need to get my headphones. I'm gonna listen to podcasts because I always do that while I'm cooking, cleaning, or doing anything else that's like a mindless task. And it makes everything that I do feel less stressful because at least I have something going on that I'm like paying attention to type of thing. Let's go to the kitchen. This is the worst lighting I think I've ever seen. But welcome back to Home Cooking with Hannah. Today for dinner, we're making shrimp Alfredo with linguine, not fettuccine because I didn't have any of that at the store. As I said, let's get started. Hey besties, it's voiceover Hannah here to talk you through what I'm doing. Here are the ingredients for your convenience. You can pause and screenshot and then you can also pause and screenshot here. I just laid out the instructions. I'm obviously gonna be going through them, but if you'd like to have a reference, here we go. Now let's get started. I've started keeping all the recipes I'm finding on the internet and on TikTok in my Notion. I love Notion. Anyway, to start by grating the cheeses, you're gonna need a half cup of each. So grate and measure accordingly. The recipe also said to make sure that the cheeses are room temperature by the time you like need to mix them in with the sauce. I guess that helps it to melt better. That's what I did and it melted pretty well as you guys will see later on, but that's just another tip I wanted to say. So once I'm done prepping the cheeses, I'm getting a big mixing bowl and I'm just filling it with some cold water. I read on the internet that this is how you can get frozen shrimp to thaw fast in like seven to 10 minutes. I think this one specifically said seven. So I just dumped all the shrimp in there, set a timer, and now we're moving on to prepping some more ingredients. Next, I'm gonna be mincing the garlic. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of minced garlic. This equaled for me, I think like five to six, what are those called? F cloves, I think, five to six cloves of garlic, but it depends on the garlic and how big it is. You just have to like put it in the tablespoon and measure yourself. You know what I mean? So then after I measured out all my garlic, it was time to drain the shrimp. I just drained all the water out and then I used some paper towels to try and soak up some of the excess water in there. And then I'm just putting that to the side. I'll go back to that later. Okay, so now I have everything prepped pretty much and now I'm pulling out my pots and pans. I'm filling the first pot with water, some salt, starting to boil it for the pasta. I'm also grabbing six tablespoons of salted butter because that's what you need to melt in the saucepan. Now we're finally getting into actually making this shit. Like I said, first step is to melt the butter in a large saucepan. You're gonna do that over medium heat. Once that's all melted, you're gonna add in the garlic and cook it for one minute. After that, you're gonna whisk in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now, I didn't have a whisk, 
and I didn't realize I didn't have a width until I started this, so my mom just told me to use a fork. But it wasn't really like working well because literally the only thing that was in there at this point was butter. So I didn't really have a lot to work with. I tried my best to mix it, I don't know. The next step is to add in the one and a half cups of heavy cream and you're gonna do this in splashes and also stir the whole time continuously. And then once you're done stirring all of that in, you're gonna add the milk in the same manner. The recipe said you could use any type of milk. I used 2% cow's milk. I don't know, I think you're supposed to use cow's milk. I don't know how the f this would taste with like vanilla almond milk type shit. <laughs> Anyway, now that the milk and cream is all mixed in, I'm going back over to the shrimp and I'm getting as much more water out as I can. And then I'm just kind of seasoning them a little bit with some salt and pepper. I don't really know, mixing that around. I'm grabbing another pan and putting it on the stove for the shrimp and then I'm melting one tablespoon of butter for that. At this point, things were getting a little bit crazy. Like I was getting overwhelmed. So I needed to turn the sauce off for a second so I could focus on the shrimp. Like I, it was too many things going on at once. I'm just not experienced enough for this yet. So anyway, I'm just cooking the shrimp and then this is the point where I turned off the sauce because the water was done boiling for the pasta. It was a lot. I'm cooking the shrimp and it says to cook that for about like five to six minutes or until the shrimp are opaque. At this point, like I said, the water was also boiling for the pasta so I'm just putting the pasta in and I'm cooking it according to the directions on the package. And during this time, I was stirring the shrimp and the pasta while the sauce was just kind of sitting there on standby. The shrimp were all cooking at different times. So I just like was going through each of them, checking them and then putting them into the bowl when they were ready. At this point, the shrimp were finishing up, so I felt confident and prepared enough to turn the sauce back on. I needed to bring the sauce to a gentle bubble and then reduce the heat to low to let it continue to simmer. And then the pasta was done cooking, so I drained that, but this is where I made a colossal mistake. I should have kept some of the pasta water to the side because it ended up all sticking together because I left it in the colander for too long, like an idiot. It's fine. Anywho, the next step for the sauce is to slowly stir in all of the cheese, unlike on Schitt's Creek when David had to fold in the cheese. We're just stirring it. I really hope you guys got that reference. If not, that's gonna be so awkward. Then once all the cheese is all melted in, you're just supposed to taste and season it with salt and pepper if desired. That's what the recipe told me to do. I hate it when it tells me to improvise because it makes me nervous, but I literally was just adding stuff, tasting it, and then I added more stuff. When I say stuff, I mean salt and pepper. <laughs> and it ended up after a couple rounds of this being perfect. I was so excited. Then once I felt that the sauce was tasting the way that I wanted it to, I poured it into the big pot because I just feel like it's easier to mix the pasta in when it's in that rather than it still being in the saucepan. I also went ahead and added the shrimp that I had sat to the side and now it was time to combine the pasta and stir it all in. This is where I really needed the pasta water because the pasta, like I said, had stuck together for so long because it was sitting in the colander. I don't know why I did that. Listen, I was under a lot of stress. I didn't use all of the pasta that I made. I just kept adding it in until I felt like it was at a good consistency, but I definitely used most of it. And now we are finally done. I am so tired. I definitely took way too much in hindsight, so I'm probably gonna have to put some back, but that's okay because I'm the only one here. So I'm gonna be the one eating the leftovers. You know, I'm not really impressed about it. <laughs> I took so much, it looks like a mountain. I'm gonna eat, but I need to fucking take the tails off the shrimps because I was too stupid to do that before. Also, I think if this is good and I decide to make it again, I need to remember to add pasta water to it so that the pasta doesn't stick to itself so much. I literally never think about that step until it's too late, like right now. It's like if the recipe does not specifically say to save pasta water, I never remember to do it. I'm just proud of myself for making this, you know? I'm proud of myself for trying something new that's not a recipe that my mom gave me. I'll keep cutting the tails off later. I wanna try this. Bitch, it smells so good. Dude, it's so creamy. A thousand out of 10. I can't wait to tell my mom about this. 
Cooking is all fun and games until you have to clean the kitchen. Good morning. Actually, good afternoon. It's 1.30 p.m. I've been busy. Today is, did I say it was Friday? It's Friday. My plan for today is literally just to sit here and edit all day. I don't plan on leaving the house and there's a lot of footage. I've been doing some editing here and there the past couple of days. I edited down some of it and then I just added the footage from yesterday and it was like two hours of raw footage. So. I've literally just been sitting here and doing that. And I'm honestly having a great time. I love days like this where my only responsibility is literally just to sit down, sip my coffee and edit. I just made my second coffee of the day. That's how you know. I feel like I've been the shittiest vlogger this whole week, but that's kind of also why I like weekly vlogs because I don't feel like I need to film every single- <sighs> I don't feel like I need to film every single thing that I do every single day because then I would have literally 10 hours of raw footage and that's just not necessary. I can just film like bits and pieces of the whole day and I'll still have like a 20 plus minute video. So it's kind of nice. That's what I'm doing. I wanted to say hello to you guys. I love not leaving the house. It's like, I fucking love not leaving the house. I hate leaving the house. We're gonna have a productive day. <laughs> Sorry, I've just been dealing with the most annoying bullshit for the past couple of hours. I didn't feel like filming it because I didn't want to bring that negative energy onto the vlog. But here I am telling you about it. But that's all I'm going to say. 6.30 now. I am going to heat up some of my pasta from last night. I'm going to watch an episode of Gilmore Girls. That's just been my comfort show lately. That looks good. My problem is that I always start new shows before I'm done the other shows. Anyway, season one, episode 16. Story of true love. A beautiful girl they fall in love. Separated by distance. 